Okay, so I've uh, talked about uh, being in Grendon between 1988 and 1990. I wanted to um, report who abused me in childhood. And I also talked about being raped a couple of doors down from Prince Andrew and Coo Stark. And I had a lot of weird crap going on in my life. Wonder what it was about. Found out who people were. The close knit circle of Lady Emma Herbert, whose dad was the Earl of Pembroke, a filmmaker. Who made a film with Coo Stark called Emily. So that Emily. Emily, also known as the Awakening of Emily, is a nineteen seventy six British pornographic historical drama film set in the 1920s, directed by Henry Herbert, produced and written by Christopher Neen, and starring Ku Stark. The story revolves around a 17-year-old girl who is pursued by various middle-aged men and women. The main setting of the film is Wilton House, which was the director's ancestral seat and the countryside around it. Emily was a moderate success at the box office in the 1970s, but in the early 1980s it had a revival and did far better, gaining publicity due to a romance between Coo Stark and Prince Andrew. Around that time the film was often shown on HBO and other cable TV channels. Done at the family home. Synopsis. Emily Foster, Ku Stark, is an American-born 17-year-old girl. <laughs> brought up in London. Her father died when she was a small child, while her mother, Margaret Foster, Sarah Brackett, is supported by a lover. The film, set in 1928, follows Emily as she returns home from a finishing school in Switzerland to her mother's country house in the English countryside, where she meets several characters who would like to seduce her and follow her induction into sensual pleasures. The film follows her interactions with these adult pursuers. Richard Walker, Victor Spinetti, her mother's lover, is a middle-aged man about town who quietly sets his sights on Emily, while a young American writer and schoolteacher named Jay's, James Wise, Richard Oldfield, tries to impress her by sensual acrobatics in his flying machine. However, her first sexual experience is an encounter with a woman. Augustine Wayne, Ina Scriver, a Swedish painter who lives nearby, Emily then has her first sexual encounter with a man, Wayne's husband, the middle-aged Rupert Wayne, Constantine de Gog, or de Gogol, in a scene indicating penetrative sex. Meanwhile, perhaps intended to mark the contrast in the sexual mores of the British of the different British classes at the time, housemaid Rachel Jane Hayden and her soldier boyfriend, Billy David Orker are engaged to be married, but Rachel tries to insist on waiting until after their wedding before they have sexual intercourse. <laughs> it's funny. I've seen both sides of the coin. What their lives are like. 
if you're wealthy and you're off your head, they call you eccentric. <laughs> if you're someone who's like the majority of people and you're off your head, they call you mad nutter. <laughs> If you're wealthy and you have sex with all and sundry, <laughs> they call you avant-garde and a bit wild, a player. <laughs> if you're like the majority, they call you a pervert. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, how life works? The film's leading lady, Ku Stark, suffered in later years from press misrepresentation. <laughs> in a libel action in 2007, she won an apology and substantial damages from Zoo Weekly, which had described her as a porn star. She commented, I am relieved that my name has been cleared of this false, highly damaging and serious allegation. In June 2019, Stark again won damages for libel in an action against Viacom, whose MTV company had referred to her in the same vein. <laughs> uh, in 1983, the film was rejected by the British Board of Film Classification because of a scene showing two women embracing in a shower. I see, so the film didn't actually get released, wasn't ready for release until 1983. Okay, so I got raped a couple of doors down from them in about 1981. Categories, British erotic drama films. British films, 1976 films, English language films, British aviation films, films directed by Henry Herbert, films scored by Rod McEwen, films shot in Wiltshire, teen exploitation, <laughs> films set in 1928. And I did a bit on Lady Emma Herbert, didn't I? This is her sister, Katinka. Seems to be a photographer. Don't worry, I'm not going to read it. Strange, isn't it? Oh, just dox. No, we didn't dox him. It's public information, so fuck it. Anybody can look at this page, can't they? <gasps> Famous porn star. Brian Blessed. Antonio Carlo Lucci. I make uh, pasta carbonara the way, he, the way he shows you on YouTube. It's a really good, easy recipe, that is. Uh, meat life. Getting to take photographs. Of the um, famous people in life. if that's where these people live or whether that's some sort of set
Can't be right, can it? Having these people around me straight away after I get out of Her Majesty's Prison, Grendon, after I've talked about being raped a couple of doors down from Prince Andrew and Coo Stark. Henry Herbert's a mate of Coo Stark's. These people have been fucking with my life. Police ain't interested. Really. No wonder they wouldn't let me make a statement back at Her Majesty's Prison Grendon. Of course, I do have half an idea that they already knew who I was and what I was going to say. when I kicked up a fuss about them not letting me report it to the police I told you that um, ex-police officer and prison officer although to be fair I'd never seen him before he just sort of suddenly showed up when I was kicking off about that them not letting me report it he could well have been a police officer for royal protection in a prison officer's uniform come in to uh, have a few chats with me was quite clear it seems that somebody's passed a word on you know to these people I mean why are her friends wrapping themselves around me interfering with my life back in 1991 why do I get drugged and kidnapped in my house <laughs> ah, and then I kidnapped somebody from the Royal Irish Regiment commanded by Prince Andrew <laughs> and get arrested by uh, I suspect Andrew Tarrant and his uh, mates Andrew Tarrant later works for the Royal Protection Group Diplomatic Protection Squad Fucking head of it, not just works for it. Head of it, apparently. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't think I have anything else to say on YouTube about this, really. Thanks very much.